Hey, uh, this is Dr. Abdul Kadir. I'm a board certified psychiatrist. I would like to talk about venlafaxine today. This video is for informational and educational purpose only. Mechanism of actions. Uh, Effexor XR is a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. It, is a, it was approved in US in 1993. It goes with different brand names. In US, it goes by Effexor. In Canada, it also goes by Effexor. In India, uh, its brand's name are Venlor XR and Ventab XL. In Pakistan, it goes by Effexor XR and Fexine. It is a generic medication now, and most of the pharmacy uh, sells the generic medication, which is Venlafaxine. It is being used for different reasons. Some of those reasons are FDA approved indications, and they are major depressive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, and panic disorder. But there are many other reasons that it has been used in the market, and it is called off-label use. We use for post-traumatic stress disorder. We also use for bipolar depression, we have to make sure that a mood stabilizer has to be on board. A person should be using a mood stabilizer along with an antidepressant if they have bipolar disorder. Uh, effects also is used for obsessive compulsive disorder and premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Dosage form, it comes in regular Effexor and Effexor XR. I don't see a whole lot of regular Effexor these days. Most of the patients use Effexor XR because Effexor XR is extended release and it is used once a day. Effexor XR comes in 37.5, 75, and 150 milligram capsules. Regular Effexor comes in 25 milligram, 37.5 milligram, 50 milligram, 75 milligram, and 100 milligram tablet. Sometimes I use regular Effexor these days when I know someone is very sensitive to medication and would need a lower dose like 12.5 for 25 milligram to start with. So I use in that uh, uh, situation, start them on 25 milligram and then gradually increase the dose. Sometimes if I have to taper down the medication and even if they are at 37.5, I'm trying to stop that and the person is having hard time and are having more withdrawal symptoms. So sometimes I use uh, the tablet form at that time, have them switch to 25 milligram of regular effector and then 37. Oh, and then 12.5 milligram after that. And dosing, dosing uh, ranges from 37.5 to 225 milligram. I have seen some people use up to 300 or 375 milligram also. Uh, it's used in uh, rare form, in form that patients are noticing some difference with medication, but not the maximum effect. So sometimes I have used at a higher dose. Uh, but also make sure that you don't have any side effects because higher dose of effects can increase the blood pressure also. Pricing, currently, it's a, it's a generic medication, so I was checking the Walmart dollar for program, and the cost of 30 capsule is $15. So still, it's a little expensive than $4, but not as expensive as it used to be when it came in the market for the first time. Adverse reaction, uh, with an, as with any medication, you know, there will be adverse side effects, but uh, usually if you start at a low dose, it is being tolerated fairly well. Main side effects are nausea. Some people can have uh, problems with sleep. They have It can be a little bit activating for some people, around 18%, but there are some people who have who will say that initially they are feeling tired. Uh, dry mouth can also be there for uh, up to 15% population. Some people can have sweatiness, especially at nighttime. Some people have uh, low appetite. Some people complain about constipation, some people with diarrhea, but most of those side effects goes away. Sexual side effects sometimes goes away, sometimes it stays. Uh, around 9 to 10% people can have sexual side effects. Usually with most of the antidepressant people can have side, sexual side effects. The best way is to cut down the dose or wait for the medications, um, side effects to go away, or sometimes even add another medication on top of effector to make sure that this sexual side effect goes away. Side effects also include serotonin syndrome, which is very rare. I have 
rarely seen those serotonin syndrome but if you start noticing confusion agitation and you are um, seeing things uh, and your blood pressure is too high you are having increased temperature and you are having hard time walking and you have severe nausea or diarrhea so it's better to go to the er right away or call your doctor because you might have serotonin syndrome but it's very rare usually i see in people who have two or three antidepressant on board and then it can cause that before you stop effexor talk to your doctor because effexor is one of the few antidepressant that are very difficult to um, taper down paxil is one of them effexor xr is one of them uh, because if you suddenly stop the medication or even if you miss one or two doses you can have discontinuation syndrome people start feeling dizzy they will complain about flu like symptoms and even electric shock sensations kind of feeling and people can feel more depressed more anxious uh, sometimes they feel that it might be because they are not taking the medication but if they are skipping one dose most of the time i see that if they they have mostly discontinuation syndrome if you have to switch uh, an antidepressant if so you have to gradually taper down effects and add another antidepressant sometime people uh, cross titrate like tapering down effects and then in adding another medication if you have to completely stop effects and you don't want to be on any antidepressant it's still it's better to gradually taper down for i would say between 4 to 8 weeks and even if you st- still having problems with tapering down then switching the effects or xr to regular effects or up to a dose of 25 mg and then 12.5 mg for 2 weeks and then stop it but if, if still you are having problems with uh, withdrawal symptoms then you can add the medication like prozac which have a long half life it stays in the body for few weeks so it's better to add prozac for few weeks two to three weeks and then gradually taper down and stop effects there and later on you can just uh, stop uh, prozac if you are taking 10 to 20 mg because you don't necessarily have to taper down prozac because it does have a long half life so if you are on 10 to 20 mg you can just stop prozac and that way you are tapering down stopping effects there have a low dose of prozac in your system and then you can stop the effects there and then later on stop the prozac final thoughts so i think it's an excellent medication i usually recommend people trying the ssri uh, like prozac paxil zoloft lexapro uh, those medication first and uh, if they don't have good success Uh, with those ssris like trying two to three antidepressant in that class if they are not helpful those medications are not working then i switch them to effexor xr as with any antidepressant make sure you don't have any uh, side effects or any uh, significant side effect like increased nausea vomiting if you have it then you need to um, start at a low dose with any antidepressant if you start having suicidal thoughts you know please talk to your doctor if you have symptoms of mania like starting antidepressant and you are not sleeping you are talking fast you are doing impulsive things you are going on a shopping spree so so talk to your doctor because sometime antidepressant switch people who have undiagnosed bipolar and they are being diagnosed with unipolar or, or major depressive disorder and then they find out that after being on antidepressants they switch to a hypomania or mania so talk to uh, your doctor about it um, please let us know if you like us to create uh, any video on any specific topic and uh, also let us know what you think uh, in the comments below thank you very much for watching